going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 6 Ratio and Proportion Exercise 6A Question 1. This one is express each of the following ratios in simplest form. This you can see that the quantities with the same unit or the same type of quantities when they are being compared, we compare them in a form of a ratio. You can see here we have first one is 18 is to 24 in our first part, right? And this 18 is to 24 is what a ratio. So in this ratio, you can see first we have 18 and then we have 24. So order is very important, right? If we write this as 24 is to 18, that will be completely wrong. Ratios always have an order in them, right? Now, when it comes to simplifying our ratio, first of all, you can convert this ratio into a fraction, right? So you will get here 18 upon 24. All right, and now you can simply simplify a fraction just like we simplify a ratio for that we have to simplify this fraction so we will get this this right how many times 3 and 4 so 3 is to 4 right just write it like this 3 is to 4 and this becomes your simplest ratio so basically here this first term here you can see this one it is called the consequent right and the next one is called the antecedent so you can see here that 3 and 4 basically are in their simplest form because 3 and 4 both of these do not have any what a common factor except 1 so 3 and 4 they don't have any common factor except 1 so they are in their simplest form right then we have in the second part 45 is to 72 and this will be written as 45 upon 72 cancel this by 9 all right so we will have here 5 and here we'll have 8 can we cancel this any further no so write it as it is 5 is to 8 all right this is our answer then third part says 78 is to 130 right so we'll have 78 upon 130 and so cancel this thing right uh, by what can we cancel this by six, uh, by 13 we'll cancel it uh, this 78 goes 6 times by 13 and this 13 goes 10 times now by uh, 2 so 3 and 5 right so we will have 3 is to 5 as our answer right let's move on to the next part all right let us move on next part is the fourth part and uh, it is 0 0.4 is to 0 0.04 so again we will convert this so we'll have 0 0.4 upon 0 0.004 right this is what it is it's one zero and four not 0 0.00 right so 0 0.4 now you can see that we have decimal points here in this question so what we will do is basically we have to remove the decimal point from our decimal uh, from our numbers numerator and the denominator so what we will do multiply it right this will be multiplied by uh, sorry, first we'll multiply this one. So two zeros are there. So two decimal places. So two zeros. So 100. And here, so here also we'll multiply by 100 only. So we will get this one will come here. This will come here. So one zero will be added here. So we will get uh, 40 upon 4. Right. Cancel this. Cancel this. So you will get 10 is to 1. All right. This becomes a answer. Simple. Next one is the fifth part, all right. And here we've got 2.5 is to 3.5, right. So this can be written as 2.5 upon 3.5, all right. So again, to cancel the decimals, we will take this here, take this here, because you can see that there is just one place after the decimal point in both of our numbers. So what we will do? multiply this by 10 and this also by 10 so we will get 25 upon 35 and this will be 5 and 7 all right and then we will have here 5 is to 7 right so this becomes our answer now let's move on to the next part right then next we have the sixth part this is 1 po uh, 1 is to 1.25 right so again, we will convert this into a fraction form first. We will get 1 upon 
to 5 right so we have to get rid of the decimal point once again what we'll do is take this here all right so this point here will also come here so we'll have two more zeros basically what we will get is into this uh, what 100 here and into 100 here as well all right why because two decimal places are after the decimal point all right so you will have 100 is to 125 cancel this by 25 i'll do so this will be 4 and this will be 5 we'll have 4 is to 5 right this becomes our answer um, next we have the seventh part right this is 2.07 is to 1.80 so again we will convert this uh, how see you will have 2.07 in the numerator upon 1.80 right here and you can see again two decimal places here and here also we will multiply it by two decimal places so into one and two decimal places so two zeros into one and again two decimal places so two zeros here as well all right and now we will have 207 upon 180 so which number will cut this off uh, 9 right here we'll have 2 and 2 there so 23 here and here 20 can we cancel this any further no because 23 is a prime number so we will have 23 is to 20 right and it's our uh, answer all right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourself and bye bye